Hi, in this tutorial, we will use the G Cloud CLI to build the necessary infrastructure on Google Cloud to run a Dockerized application. In a previous video, we have used the GCP UI or the Cloud Console UI to create the services and went into a lot of detail um, explaining everything. In this tutorial, we'll focus on the G Cloud CLI and will also provide a best script that runs fully automated. We will start by using the UI to create a GCP project and also to create a master service account that has the owner permissions. That means it can do everything on the project that we just created. We will use that key to authenticate our local G Cloud CLI tool. From there, we will create an access key for a new service account that we will call the deployment user. And we will also enable all service APIs and create the virtual machine. And from there, the flow looks exactly as before. We authenticate Docker to push our images, store them in cloud storage, authenticate our G Cloud CLI to log into the compute instance via SSH, hold the images from the registry and also retrieve secrets from the secret manager. We first need to create a project and I'll simply choose the name and the ID Docker minus tutorial minus CLI. In the new project, I will now create the master service account via the service account interface. Give it the ID and the name master, and I will give it the owner role, which means it can do everything that I as a personal user could also do. I need to create a key file. And store the key file in the code base under the name GCP master service account key. We are going to run a couple of CLI commands that will use very similar values. And I'm going to create variables for those so I don't have to repeat them over and over again. Those variables are the project ID, Docker minus tutorial minus CLI, the name of the virtual machine, as well as the zone where the virtual machine is going to be spawned. Then I'm going to activate the master service account for our project ID. And as a next step, I'm enabling all the APIs to show you where I get the corresponding values. For example, container registry.googleapis.com. We are going to take a look at the interface. The service name that we need to use on the command line can be seen down here. And that is true for any, any other API as well. All of those APIs are already familiar to us. So the container registry, the secret manager, the compute engine, the IAM service, Google Cloud Storage, and the Cloud Resource Manager. As a next step, I'm now gonna create the deployment service account. And for that service account, I will create a JSON key file. The key file will be stored under GCP service account key.json, so the same location as we stored it before. As a next step, I need to add the corresponding roles for the new service account. So the storage admin role, the secret manager admin role, compute admin, IAM service account user, and IIP tunnel resource accessor. All of those are already known to us from the previous tutorial. The command to add those roles to the service account is called gcloud projects at IAM policy binding, the ID of the project, and then the member that defines the service account that we want to add the roles to. So in our case, we want to add the roles to a service account. And then we use the email address of the service account. That is deployment service account ID at the project ID dot IAM dot G service account dot com. Once all roles are added, I can move on to creating the secrets. For that, I'll use G Cloud Secrets create and then the name of the secret. And I also need to create a version of the secret that in my case is my secret value. And I'm gonna echo the value, pipe it through to the command, and I'll use the minus to capture the value. In the previous tutorial, I was also talking about a special firewall rule that was created under the hood automatically when we created the compute instance through the UI. But now I have to create this firewall rule manually through the CLI. I'm using the gcloud compute firewall rules create name of the rule, in this case default allow HTTP. And then I use the allow option to allow TCP traffic on port 80. And I'll assign the target tag HTTP server. 
We will also create a compute instance via the gcloud CLI, but we will use the UI to configure all the necessary settings. So I'm going to use the create instance UI, use my VM as the name. The zone is US central one minus A, and the remaining configuration will be the same as in the previous tutorial. We need to make sure to use our deployment service account and click the allow HTTP traffic. And we will once again use spot instances to keep the costs as low as possible. Once everything is configured, I'm gonna hit the equivalent command line button at the bottom of the page. This will bring up a modal with a copy paste ready command for the gcloud CLI. I will simply paste the command and run it the instance has been successfully created under the name my-vm in the zone us-central1-a. So by now, the whole infrastructure that we require is up and running and all the necessary service APIs are activated. But we can't run Docker containers yet because we first need to provision the compute instance, which means we need to set up Docker and configure it so that we are able to pull images from our own registry. For that, I will authenticate gcloud with the deployment service account that we have created previously. And instead of manually logging into the instance and executing a script, I will now transfer the script via SCP to the instance. So I'm gonna use gcloud compute SCP to copy the script provision.sh to the VM. Let's take a quick look at the script. It's the same script that we have been using in the previous video to manually set up Docker. Since the script is now on the virtual machine, I can also run it through an SSH command. So for that, I'm gonna use gcloud compute SSH, name of the VM, the VM zone, tunnel through IAP as we have learned before, and then I define the SSH command to run. So in this case, I'm using bash provision.sh to execute the provision shell file that I have uploaded previously via SCP. And finally, I need to also make sure that Docker is authenticated on the virtual machine. I'm going to once again run an SSH command, gcloud auth configure docker command that we knew from the previous video, but I need to make sure to run it as the root user because we are going to start Docker containers as the root user. Cool. So now we should have a fully configured virtual machine running that has Docker installed. We can take a look by logging into the machine and checking if Docker is installed. So the next step is building our Docker image locally and pushing it to the registry. For that, I will first authenticate Docker locally, build our custom Nginx image. And in this case, I have already given it the correct name from the start, so I don't need to retag it. Push the image. And now I need to pull it on the VM from the registry and start the Docker container. For the deployment, I have created a corresponding script and we will use the same technique as before. So we will use this script and transfer it via SCP to the virtual machine and then execute it on the virtual machine. The script itself will pull an image from the registry. It will then kill any possibly running containers. It will then start a new Docker container. And finally, it will retrieve the my secret secret that we have created previously. So we are first transmitting the script via SCP Transmission is done, and then we're gonna execute it via an SSH command. And the command is execute the deploy.sh file that we've previously transmitted. Pull the Docker image, start a new Nginx container, and then it will retrieve the my secret that we have created in the secret manager. From the compute engine cloud console UI, we can copy the external IP address, open it in a browser, see the default Nginx page, and we should also be able to call our custom hello.html page. And there you have it. Everything is working exactly as before, but this time we only use the interface to create the GCP project and to create a master service account. Everything else was done through the gcloud CLI tool. And because of that, we can even go one step further and put everything in a single script and let it run automatically. But before we do that, let's clean up and shut down the project. I have created a script that runs fully automated and executes all the steps that we have just seen. All it needs is a project ID and a name of the virtual machine 
This script still requires that we set up a new project and it also requires that we create a master service account as we did before. So let's quickly do that. Create a new GCP project under the name docker-tutorial-script and then generate a new master service account. And of course, a corresponding key file. We name it GCP master service account key, just as before. And now we're ready to execute the script. We will run it via bash path to the script, ID of the GCP project, and then the name of the compute instance. And it will start by activating the master service account. It will then enable all the APIs, so the container registry, compute engine, and so on. It will then create the deployment service account, the corresponding key file for the service account. We'll store it under gcp minus service minus account minus key.json. It will then add all the roles that are necessary to run the dockerized application. We'll create the secrets. So in our case, my secret will create the firewall rules. We'll then create the compute instance, switch over to the deployment service account. And before we transmit the provisioning script, we will give it some time to get ready because it usually takes some time until the instance is ready to accept IAP connections, which was the technology that we used to transfer files via SCP or to run commands via SSH. The provisioning script has been transferred successfully. It is now being executed. That means Docker is being installed. And we also authenticate Docker on the VM so that we will be able to pull and start Docker containers as the root user. And then we're done with the provisioning. And now we need to do the same thing for the deployment. This will be done with another script that I've also created called deploy.sh that will create a Docker image locally, push it to the registry, transfer the deployment script that we have seen previously on the virtual machine and run it there. We can execute the script again via bash pass to the script project ID as well as the name of the virtual machine. And then it will start by building the Docker image. We'll give it the correct name so that we can then push it to the registry, transfer the deployment script via SCP, execute it as the root user, which means pull the image that we just pushed, start it, retrieve the secret that we created. It will also use the gcloud CLI to retrieve the public address so that I can now simply copy it and check if the deployment has actually been successful. You can find a much more detailed version of this video on my blog under pascalando.com, GCP Compute Instance VM Docker. You'll find the link also in the description. All files are available in the official Docker PHP tutorial repository on GitHub under part 8. This is the end of the video. Thank you for watching.